San Diego profile who we got in the building. What's up? We blue thought you know. <laughs> so what part of San Diego are you rapping for? I don't know, because I'm from all over the place. You can say all over. Um, yeah, I don't really have like a specific part because like, you know, I I was born in North Park. Uh -huh. Then I grew up in City Heights. But I went to school in like at first I went to school in like Point Loma, then I went to school Hello. in like the southeast. Hey, I'm you all represent over. all of the San I'm Diego. All over, so it's like, I don't even, you know, just Dago is me. Hella, hella. So, growing up, who were some of your influences behind your music? Um, I would definitely have to say. I would definitely have to say, like, I like I liked a lot of, like, Destiny's Child. I liked a lot of, like, Ashanti. Um, Mary J. Blige, no, a lot of yeah, like a lot of a lot of singers. Yeah. And then when I first really like, like I always liked rap, but it was like you know that wasn't a big thing that was played in my household. Like my mom, don't get actually I like because my mom is obsessed with Jay Z, so uh -huh. I used to listen to a lot of Jay Z. My dad played a lot of hip hop, so a lot of like, you know, most of quite a track called Quest. Uh -huh. But then like when I when I started kind of branching out and finding my own hip-hop, uh -huh. I started really being drawn to, like, old West Coast hip-hop. So I was listening to, like, a lot of, like, The Chronic hey, and, like, Mando. Snoop. Then I started listening to, like, a lot of Biggie. So it's, like... So good 90s and 2000s. Yeah, like, I was never... My, my mom didn't really like where music was going when I was growing up. So when, when I got to, when like, probably, like, early or like late it elementary shows. school it shows. yeah it like you shows. like she just stopped she just started listening to like oldies we never we only listen to 92.5 we never listened to like you know that jazzy 90s <laughs> <laughs> That's just, uh, so uh go ahead and tell them about some of your previous releases um so i have an ep that i dropped called pure ecstasy ep it's, mm -hmm. it's been out for a little bit over a year now mm -hmm. and um it's my first EP, so it was just, you know, it was kind of an experiment or just to have, like, a a project to push, yeah. but um, it's it's really changed, like, like my whole, like, my life, to be honest, so far. Yeah, like, I mean, I, it's, it's you still performing songs yes, over there. I'm so over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get back in the studio doing the music, but I'm just... I'm dropping videos right now. I have um, the, the video, two videos I have out mm -hmm. would be On Me, which there everybody you know. loves that song. And then I have a video out for What I Need, which is more like a neo soul type of vibe. Mm -hmm. Then I also have um, a video, two videos about to be released. So I have These Niggas, that's about to be released really, really, really soon. That video is going to be dope. Shout out D. And then I have um, Pure Ecstasy. The video for Pure Ecstasy, the song, is going to be out soon, yeah, too. Yeah, that's so. going to be a cool video. Yeah, I'm excited. And then after that, it's back to the grind, back to the studio, just dropping music and visuals. So okay. be on the lookout. All right, so go ahead and tell them how they can find you on the internet, so your social medias, everything that you use. Um. So everything, like my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, even though I don't really be on Snapchat like that no more, um, it's all at... B R Y B L U E S S S. So it's Bree Blues. <laughs> but when it one more time. I mean, that's how you separate it. So. I know, yeah, exactly. So it's B R Y B L U E S S S. Follow me, I follow back. That's what's up. <laughs> um, my favorite question. What are your long term goals for why you hustling right now? I have so many. Um, Is that your best one? Alright, like I would just say I wanna I wanna change the world hands down like that's I I wanna be I wanna make a difference I wanna influence people to be great mm -hmm. and um I mean like really really be great like I really just wanna change the minds of a lot of people and change the perspectives and stuff of of so many things you know mm -hmm. and of course I wanna make sure my family's family is straight you know oh, yeah that's always a good one. All right, so wrapping it up, this is a part where you can put in your plugs, your shout outs, whatever you want to say to the camera. Go ahead, it's your time. Um, shout out to all my supporters, all my friends, Jen, Thais, Dee, Shelly. Um, shout out to my haters too. 
<laughs> y'all, y'all, hey, y'all inspire me every day. Hey, gotta give them love too. <laughs> and shout out Free Mind for for doing this and making platforms for for people to get to know the artists. Shout out Dago. Mm -hmm. Shout out everybody, everybody that's grinding and hustling and that fucks with me, hands yeah, down. Like, even if I didn't say your name, what's understood don't need to be explained. I like oh, what you. Oh yeah, I like what. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my mom. <laughs> yeah, your mom's really cool. Yeah, my mom's a uh, shit. Really I swear. Cool. But you probably y'all probably seen her at a show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so tell them one more time who they in the building with. Bree Blues thought you knew. Get familiar. <laughs> All right, you're good.